my beloved brothers and sister welcome in the presence of our almighty god hallelujah thank you jesus as we celebrated uh, recently the pentecost sunday we remember the holy spirit who is that holy spirit let me explain to you in very simple terms who is the holy spirit the third person in trinity bible says in second corinthians chapter 3 verse 17 the lord jesus christ is that spirit the lord is the spirit the lord is that spirit and where the spirit of lord is there is liberty there is freedom hallelujah so my beloved brothers and sister know this who is this holy spirit holy spirit is none other than the lord jesus christ himself Second Corinthians Amen. chapter three verse seventeen. The Lord is that Spirit. Amen. And Acts chapter two, verse one to fifteen. You can read what happened. The Pentecost Sunday was the birthday of the worldwide churches. The first church was born on the day of Pentecost. Hallelujah! What happened? Oh, on the day of Pentecost, there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind and it filled all the house where the disciples of Jesus were sitting, 120 disciples, and there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as of fire and it sat upon each one of them and they were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak with other tongues as the spirit gave them utterance in that time in jerusalem they were men people from every nation under heaven and they were astonished shocked surprised to listen hey how this galileans are speaking in our language arabic different kind of language greek they are not, they have not studied, they are not knowing, and they are praising God, magnifying God. That's the power of the Pentecost. That's the power of the Holy Spirit. As you are listening right now, Amen. you are not wasting your time, my beloved brothers and sisters. As I am speaking, the Holy Spirit is hovering over you. Is hovering over you. Hallelujah. Oh, power, power, power. Power fell on me, power, 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 power fell on me. On the day of Pentecost, power fell on me, power, 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 power fell on me. As in the day of Pentecost, power fell on me, fire, 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 fire fell on me. As in the day of Pentecost, fire fell on me yes you will receive power acts chapter 1 verse 8 jesus christ himself promised when the holy spirit shall come upon you upon you you shall receive power you shall receive power my brother my sister you might be having weakness mentally you are weak physically emotionally your body is weak. The Lord Jesus promises, my son, my daughter, I will send my Holy Spirit upon you so that you shall receive my power, my power to overcome every weakness, every fear, every oh discouragement. The disciples were afraid they had denied Jesus. But when Holy Spirit came, it transformed Peter, the one who denied Jesus. He preached to 3,000 people and they were saved. They were saved. That boldness, that spirit, Holy Spirit gives. My brother, my sister, that boldness is available to you right now. Right now as you are listening. Oh, Holy Spirit is hovering over you. Hovering over you, hallelujah, to give you fire fire to give you power power 
take it, take it, take it. Hallelujah. You shall receive power and you shall oh, be my witness unto Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria and to the uttermost parts of the earth. Are you unable to witness to your family members, to your neighbors, to your co-workers? Oh, they make fun of me. I'm afraid to share my faith. Holy Spirit will empower you, will grant you boldness as uh, disciples were filled with boldness to testify, to preach the crucified Jesus, the champion of the cross, the lover, oh, oh, the lover of the cross of Calvary, the lover of all the mankind, hallelujah. John chapter 14 verse 16 says, Holy Spirit is the comforter. John chapter 14 verse 26 says, G uh, uh, Holy Spirit is the helper. Holy Spirit is your helper. Holy Spirit is your comforter. When you are so in sorrow, when you are in pain, when you are suffering in your body, you might have a disease, pain, excruciating pain. You are unable to sleep due to worry, due to blood pressure, due to high sugar level. Your heart is paining. Your bones are paining. Jesus Christ, through his Holy Spirit, will comfort you, will help you in your troubles, in your trials, in your tribulations, in your torturous, tormenting situation. Holy Spirit is the helper. Hallelujah. And what does the Holy Spirit do? When you are attacked by your enemies, by the critics, by the jealous people, they might be your co-workers, neighbors, your own family members or relatives. Holy Spirit is having another characteristic. He's a fighter. He's a fighter. Isaiah chapter 59 verse 19 says, when the enemy shall come like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord shall raise a standard against him. Yes, when the enemy shall come like a flood, when you are surrounded by the evil, wicked, dangerous people, when you are in distressing, disturbing, dangerous situation. Good news. Cheer up my brother. Cheer up my sister. The lover of your Jesus Christ will send the helper, the comforter, the fighter who will fight your battles. You are not alone. You are not alone. You are not alone. The Holy Spirit, the mighty one, oh, is fighting. Another verse says, Isaiah chapter 28, verse 2, beautiful verse. It says, Isaiah chapter 28, verse 2 says, hallelujah. The Holy Spirit is strong and mighty. The Holy Spirit is strong and mighty. Yes, my beloved brother. Behold, the Lord has a mighty and strong one, which as a tempest of hail and a destroying storm, as a flood of mighty water, overflowing shall cast down to the earth with the hand. Yes, the Holy Spirit is mighty and strong. Do you want to experience that Holy Spirit? For two minutes, just close your eyes as we sing this song. Lord, the Lord Jesus promised He will make you to experience, taste the power, the might the, of the strong and the mighty Holy Spirit, the helper, the comforter. Just close your eyes as we sing this song for two minutes. Come, Holy Spirit, we need you. Come, sweet spirit, we pray. Come in your power. Come in your own special way. Holy Spirit, thou are welcome in this place. Holy Spirit, thou are welcome in this place. Father of mercy and grace, Thou art welcome in this place. Holy 
Spirit, Thou art welcome in this place. Fill every brother, every sister, heart with your peace. Holy Spirit is the spirit of truth. Not only is the spirit of power, but he is the spirit of truth who will guide you to in all the truth. Who will uh, explain to you the Bible, the Bible words which you are not able to understand. The Holy Spirit is the spirit of wisdom. Yes. Oh, and uh, Holy Spirit is another. Is the spirit of burning. Isaiah chapter 4, 4 verse 4. Isaiah chapter 4 verse 4 says, the Holy Spirit is the spirit of burning. He will burn every impurities, impure thoughts, impure habits. You are might be not be able to leave, to cast out the bad habits, the evil habit, habits, addictions, to maybe to movies, violent movies or serials, whatever, or anger or jealousy. Or comparing always, competing with each other. You might be having bitterness. The spirit of burning, the Holy Spirit will burn every imperfection, every impurities from your life, from your body. Every bad habits, every addictions will leave. Whether, uh, oh, it's smoking, uh, it's drinking, gambling or watching uh, oh movies and pornography whatever anger you might be having any kind of sins and impurities and imperfection the spirit of burning will burn will burn the fire of the holy spirit will burn oh as gold oh every impurity is removed by burning yes the holy spirit is spirit of burning hallelujah and uh, Holy Spirit, uh, oh, he promised uh, in uh, Isaiah chapter 44, verse 3 says, uh, Isaiah chapter 44, verse 3, I will pour water upon him that is thirsty and floods upon the dry ground. I will pour out my Holy Spirit upon your seed, upon your children, and my blessing upon your offspring. Your grandchildren, your children will be blessed. Why? Because of the Holy Spirit. Are you thirsting for the Holy Spirit? Do you have a thirst to know more about the Holy Spirit? To experience in your daily life the comfort, the joy of the Holy Spirit? The joy unspeakable, full of glory. Hallelujah. First Peter chapter 1 verse 8. Yes. Are you having that thirst? Blessed are those who thirst, hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be filled. As you are listening, the Holy Spirit is hovering, hovering. As during the days of creation in Genesis chapter 1 verse 2, the Spirit of the Lord, Holy Spirit was hovering over the waters to make beautiful creation. Yes. Oh, are you thirsting? So let's sing this song. Welcome Holy Spirit, we are in your presence. Fill us with your power, live inside of me. You are the living water, never dying fountain. Comforter and counselor, come and take control. Welcome, Holy Spirit, we are in your presence. Fill us with your power, live inside of me. You are the living water, never dying fountain. Comforter and counselor, come and take control. Welcome, Holy Spirit. We are in your presence, fill us with your power, live inside of us. Yes, you are the living water. Oh, yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Another beautiful thing the Holy Spirit does in Isaiah chapter 
32 verse 15 says beautiful verse Isaiah chapter 32 verse 15 until the spirit is be poured upon us from on high until unless the Holy Spirit is poured out from heaven the barren land will remain barren but when the Holy Spirit is poured what will it will do the wilderness will be turned into fruitful field you might be having a business no profits years have gone months have gone loss Financial loss, financial stress, strain, scarcity, hand to mouth situation. You might be having loans, unpaid loans, unpaid dues. How? You might be thinking, who will supply? Who will pay back all the loans? There is no income, sufficient income. Good news. The Holy Spirit will promote you, will prosper you will protect you, preserve you, purify you. Hallelujah. Oh, until the Spirit is poured upon us from the heaven, the barren land will remain barren. But when it is poured, the barren land will be turned into fruitful, fertile land. Barren land to fertile. Are you facing failures? My brother, my sister, my young man, my young girl, are you facing failures? Repeated failures. Whatever you do, it's failing. Jesus promises my Holy Spirit will bring success. And who is the Holy Spirit? Remember 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 17. The Lord Jesus Christ is the Spirit. You need not to conf be confused. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. And the fruitful field will become a forest. Yes. You might be having some members in your church. You might be having, you might have won some souls. Jesus wants to multiply to thousandfold. Deuteronomy chapter 1 verse 11 says, Oh, thousand times blessings. He wants to multiply. Your influence, your resources, your productivity, your creativity, your gifts and talents, whatever little you are using for God, God wants to multiply thousand times. Take it, take it, take it. By faith, by faith, take it, take it. Receive, receive in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, yes, yes. You might be having only this uh, limited income, limited salary, Jesus wants to raise your salary. Hallelujah. Oh, raise your salary. Increase your income. Oh, increase the level of influence, creativity, resources. Thank Him. Praise Him. Glorify Him. Magnify Jesus. He's good. He's gracious. He's great. Greatly to be praised. Jesus Christ is glorious hallelujah thank you lord thank you jesus thank you father yes spirit is moving again spirit is moving again as in the day of pentecost spirit is moving again the lame are walking the blind are seeing the lame are walking the blind are seeing the dumb are speaking the deep are listening in the mighty name of Jesus. The lame are walking. Oh, spirit is moving again. Spirit is moving again. As in the day of Pentecost, spirit is moving again. Hallelujah. Yes, my beloved brothers and sisters, spirit is moving again. And what does the Holy Spirit does? Another beautiful thing. Romans chapter 8 verse 26 says. Romans chapter 8 verse 26. Likewise the spirit also helps in our weakness. In our infirmities. For we know not what we should pray. As we ought. But the spirit itself makes intercession for us with groanings. Which cannot be uttered. When you are 
in great sorrow in deep sorrow suffering pain when you are surrounded by your enemies you are in dangerous situation there is no hope you are helpless jesus christ is the hope to the hopeless jesus christ is the help to the helpless my brother my sister when you are in deep sorrow pain agony grief the comfort the helper the holy spirit hallelujah intercedes for you when you don't know how to pray the holy spirit intercedes with groanings which cannot be uttered let me tell you a true incidence that happened to my mom's life when she was a principal of a higher secondary school 3000 students were there 60 teachers and she was known for her discipline she is a very strict hard worker if the school starts 7 o'clock she will reach 6:30 if she has to reach 9 o'clock the office time she will reach 1 hour before she was such a diligent hard worker sincere faithful worker she doesn't like the sloppy and the lazy workers so she used to scold she was a strict in administration and the teachers in the government school they are lazy and sloppy so what they used to do they will be sitting in the staff room chit chatting talking with each other eating lunch or breakfast whatever the period is going on their period is there they should be in the classroom but they will be chit chatting once it happened my mother was taking round there were three floors 3000 students in all the classroom she was taking around and one class she found the children the students were making noise they were talking no teacher was there she inquired who spirit it is they said this this man then my mother immediately went to the staff room and found out that the teacher who had the period she was eating and laughing and chit chatting with other teachers she got very annoyed and she scolded her why you are sitting the students are shouting and talking with each other why you are not teaching your students it's your class you should go the teacher got very hurt annoyed and after some time after the taking the period she called her relative who was a union leader trade union leader in the government and you know the trade unions are very powerful the leaders and he was a big shot a cruel hard hearted notorious union leader that union leader called my mother and told tomorrow i am going to come to your office to your principal's cabin and 9 o'clock i will be there i will make the teachers to go on strike they will walk on the streets shouting against you that was something very very dangerous he threatened my mother he was a cruel powerful trade union leader my mother didn't have any connection with the big fellows she had only one connection with the most high god god of heaven and earth his name is the powerful jesus. name the wonderful name of jesus christ of nazareth hallelujah she began praying to jesus and next day came 9 o'clock he had told i will come in the morning i will make all the teachers to go on strike they will uh, march on the streets and shout against you the newspaper the tv channels will report it will be shame dishonor my mother was the principal of a prestigious school reputed school which she had due to her hard work sincere work raised to great standard high standard all her name will be defamed 
she will be having dishonor, shame. It was 8.45. My mother's heart was beating. Tuck, tuck, tuck. With fear, anxiety. What will happen? What will happen? What will happen? And she started speaking in unknown tongues. The Holy Spirit began interceding. Oh, 8.45, 8.50, 8.55, 9 o'clock. That cruel union leader, notorious union leader came. My mother was speaking in tongues, unknowingly. He sat in front of my mother's table. Five minutes gone, ten minutes gone, my mother was speaking in unknown tongues. The Holy Spirit was interceding according to Romans chapter 8 verse 26. When we do not know how to pray, what we should pray. But the Holy Spirit itself makes intercession with, for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. She was praying in unknown tongues. 15 minutes, 20 minutes gone. That union leader couldn't speak a word. No word came out from his mouth. The Holy Spirit, the powerful, the strong, the mighty, the fighter stopped his mouth. He couldn't speak a single word. And after 20 minutes he left without speaking anything. That's the power of the Holy Spirit. Power of the Holy Ghost. Yes, power, power, power. Take it, take it in your life. Holy Spirit oh, wants to give you the same power. He's a fighter, who is a helper, who is a comforter. Oh, he wants to comfort you. He wants to fight your battle, my brother, my sister, for your job, for your future, for your finances, for your family. You might be having unsaved children, unsaved family members, relatives, family friends. He wants to save them. The Holy Spirit will fight. And what happened? He went without doing anything, without speaking. Uh, he was unable to speak. The Holy Spirit shut his mouth. The God of Daniel, who shut the mouth of lions, hungry lions, is the same. The Bible says, Hebrews yeah. chapter 13, verse 8, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He's the same. Hallelujah. Yes, he's not partial. What he did for my mother, he will do for you, my brother. He will do for you, my sister. Bible says in Acts chapter 10, verse 34, Romans chapter 2, verse 11, Jesus Christ is not partial. What he did for others, he can do. He is willing to do for you. For you, my brother. For you, my sister. And after six months, what happened? As Bible says in Isaiah chapter 61, verse 7, instead of, of your shame, you will have double, double honor. My mother was given the prestigious President of India Award by Dr. APG Abdul Kalam, the President of that time of India. What an honor! The news channel, the local newspaper, reported, took interview, had my mother's picture and her interview broadcast in the local TV channels. In the newspaper, it was reported. My mother's picture, photo was published. What a honor. What a honor. Holy Spirit honors you. Holy Spirit honors you. Hallelujah. Whatever dangerous, critical, uh, crucial situation you might be facing. Or oh, as you are listening, he wants to honor you, my brother. He wants to honor you, my sister. He says... My son, my daughter, as you have spent your precious time to listening to my word, I am a rewarder. I reward. I am a rich rewarder. Remember, he will honor you. Instead of your, instead of your shame, you will have double honor. Isaiah chapter 61 verse 7. Oh, yes, yes, yes. And the union leader and the, that teacher, the teachers who had complained, to her relative, that union leader. What happened? His only son lost his eye, both his eyes. Drumstick 
his son was plucking out of the tree the drumstick fell on his eyes he lost both his eyes terrible judgment holy spirit fights and he recompenses he gives the vengeance is his he will repay back the evil the wicked people he will punish them he will judge them he will make them to pay the punishment and that union leader was si sidelined he didn't win next election he was sidelined and more judgment came my beloved brothers and sister you have a fighter his name is the lord is that spirit holy spirit hallelujah thank you lord thank you father oh yes sir. oh shall we uh, close our eyes holy spirit is hovering very near very very near my brother my sister as i am speaking holy holy spirit wants to fill you with his you, nine gifts of the holy spirit nine fruits of the holy spirit he wants to fill you the nine gifts of the holy spirit the nine fruits of the holy spirit take it receive it oh bible says luke chapter 11 verse 13 you might not be having be filled with the holy spirit you can ask lord jesus fill me with your holy spirit i want to receive power and the sure sign is that you have been filled with the holy spirit is your tongues will speak new languages unknown tongues without your control that's the sure sign you are filled with the holy spirit and you keep on oh being filled with the holy spirit the power and the presence of the lord jesus will become strong and mighty and powerful in your life catherine kulman a woman of god whenever she used to shake her hands people used to fall under the anointing this they will say oh some current has passed that's the power of the holy spirit power of the holy spirit oh let's pray close every eye every eyes be closed and pray lord jesus you said in the last days i will pour out my holy spirit upon all flesh your children your sons and daughters shall prophesy your young man shall see visions your old man shall see dreams yes father pour out pour out your holy spirit as per your promise in Acts chapter 2 verse 17, Joel chapter 2 verse 28. In the last days I will pour out my Holy Spirit upon all flesh. All flesh. Do it. Do it. Do it, Lord. Do it, Lord. Pour out your Spirit. Pour out your Spirit. Pour out your Spirit upon us. Pour out your Spirit. Pour out your Spirit. Pour out your spirit upon all. Yes, Father, pour out your Holy Spirit. We are thirsty, Lord. Yes, you have said out of uh, your belly shall flow the rivers of the living water. Yes, Father, Holy Spirit, flow, flow through us, Father, to comfort people, to set the captives free. To heal the sick, uh, to deliver the demon possessed. Uh, yes, Father, fire, fire of the Holy Ghost. Touch, touch, fire, 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 fire fall on me. Fire, 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 fire fell on me on the day of Pentecost. Fire fell on me. Power, 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 power fell on me. On the day of Pentecost, power fell on me. Sweet, wonderful, precious Jesus. Embrace every brother. Embrace every sister. Kiss them. Bless them, Lord. All because we pray in the Jesus. Greatest, gentle, gracious, great, glorious, generous name. Amen, amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Magnify Jesus. Magnify, glorify Jesus. Amen, amen, amen. God bless you. Amen. amen. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Samuel Mercy, for that beautiful and wonderful.